Welcome to the Dad Got Parks Disney Character Warehouse Vineland update from December 5th. Once again, first group's in at 10 a.m. Get there early, like 8, 8.30 if you want to do what I do. Because 2020, they got face masks. They have some $2.99 ones and some $6.99 ones. $6.99s need to go to $2.99. They had this joy bowl that matches the joy mugs and all the other farmhouse stuff. And I almost bought it, but they were gone by the time I went around to go back and get them. If you're enjoying my videos, I'd ask that you consider subscribing. It would really help me out and you might win some free stuff. I do giveaways all the time and all you have to do is be subscribed and leave comments to enter. They had a pretty nice selection of magic bands today, including this Onward one, which happens to be my buddy's favorite movie, so I picked one up for him. They also had Goofy, which is another favorite of a friend of mine, but I felt like, you know, don't want to push it on them, so I didn't buy this one. This not so scary Halloween mug was really cool. It's a good size. Yeah, it says 2020 on it, but it's on the inside. You can kind of like forgive that. Considering not so scary didn't even happen, this is technically like a limited edition collector item. What is cool is these Hocus Pocus mugs. The graphic on it is perfect, it has the cat. It's just a nice mug. And Hocus Pocus is a cool movie, which they're making a second one of. What does Lightning McQueen order when he gets takeout? Ka-chow, main. Waka waka. I noticed they started putting these inside cellophane. We had bought a couple of these and they were all scratched up because they just like pile on each other, but now they're individually wrapped. Now there were a lot of Christmas ornaments there today, but they got cleared out quick. So this is kind of what was left when I got there to film. Somebody put these in backwards. I don't know why, but that's the Haunted Mansion set and it dropped to $7.99. It was $11.99 last week. We had Mater, and this is a good ornament. I really like that. For $6.99, it's a good size, and it's Mater. Mater's cool. Forky was only $4.99, which I thought was a pretty good deal. I'm still digging this bolt one, but it's a little small for $9.99. $5.99, then it's a purchase. And here's an example of the schizophrenic uh, character warehouse. This was $1.99 for a long while, and now it's back at $4.99. Don't understand. The mug and tumbler situation is kind of the same stuff we've been seeing for weeks. I didn't see anything that was like, whoa, they have that, or that's new. 
nothing really kind of got me. Nobody puts toothpicks in this Disney. We know what you're doing. was super jazzed to pick one of these up. They're like a porcelain version of the castle, and it's really nice. And I was super happy to get one for the house. And a Space Mountain hat? You never see Space Mountain stuff. That's a nice hat. I didn't know it's the 45th anniversary. Did you know that? Now, somebody in my last video was like, hey, where are the pins at? Well, guess what? The pins are right here. Today was a good pin day at the character warehouse. A lot of stuff I haven't seen or haven't seen in a while. And some really good priced pins, $3.99. And then, of course, there's the special, special deal coming up. But we'll get to that later. I'm a big fan of Big Hero 6. I think it's an underrated movie. Do you think that? Or am I off my rocker? Let me know in the comments. I don't know why this was $12.99 and they were all marked $12.99 because this one was $5.99 and I think it's cooler. So why is the other one These lanyards were some nice lanyards. The villains one is awesome. Artwork on point, nice and thick, hold a lot of pins, and Pandora was cool too. Why did Goofy wear two pair of pants when he golfed? Because he thought he might get a hole in one. Waka waka. Totally digging these uh, Evil Queen pins. And this Maleficent pin coming up is super cool. That is just an amazing design and a really unique looking pin. For $3.99, you cannot go wrong. But the pin deal of the century is this one. 
Hades. Hades is my boy for a dollar ninety nine. Dollar ninety nine are great trade in pins, and it's Hades, man. This would make a great stocking stuffer for a kid who loves pink and princesses. I wonder what happened with this one. So my mother-in-law is deathly afraid of snakes and I kind of wanted to buy this and just throw it in the house, but I also didn't want to kill my mother-in-law because I kind of like her. Mike Wazowski, 25 bucks, lounge fly. It's a solid lounge fly. It's got print on the inside. You can't go wrong with a $25 lounge fly. I was like, man, these are some bright looking Crocs. Those are pretty extreme. And then I looked down and I was like, oh, never mind. Those are tame. Those are some bright looking Crocs. You're not getting lost wearing those in the parks. Uh-uh. Unless you're with your family and then they purposely lose you. Maybe then. These things are becoming the Santa Mickey lounge fly of the outlets. These have been here forever, same price. And they don't normally discount Doonies past the initial discount. So I guess they're just willing to hold these till they fold them. That doesn't make any sense. Pink, fuzzy, purse, purchased, on its way home, maybe. Don't watch this video, kiddo. What's up, everybody? Quick one here. Only two items I wasn't able to film, but I was able to buy. The first was in this nondescript box for $8.99. <laughs> it's super late. It is a light up ornament. We're gonna pull the tag. We are gonna light it up. And I actually think I'm just gonna display this on a table for Christmas without it being on a tree. Pretty nice. 
$8.99. And the second item was this. Light up sign, which matches our advent calendar or Christmas countdown calendar we got and our little wooden house we got. So now we're starting to get more Christmas Disney stuff to make the kiddo happy. So that's it, that's all I got. Back to the video. 20,000 leads uh, merchandise is not that common. So I was surprised to see this, but it was just this one. Ahsoka Tano made her Disney Plus live action debut here in The Mandalorian recently. So that's a good time to buy this shirt. Speaking of the Mando, this came in a double XL. This came home with me. This is the way. If this came in a double XL, this would have come home with me also. But only smalls. Squirrel! I had not seen, I had English buddy, great job. Haven't seen this, Oswald, it's cool. I should just stop talking. If you feel like your chi is out of balance, go ahead and pick this up. Show people your guns. It's not bad for $12.99. The overwhelming majority of all the kids' stuff was the same, but there was something that piqued my interest, and it was this one here on the corner. I wonder why I gravitated to this one. I don't know. Anybody got an idea why I like that? The kiddo is all about the snacks. So this was a kiddo outfit 100%. But I can't shop for her when the wife's not there because I'm terrible at figuring out sizes. I'll link the kids' Megapalooza video because a lot of this is in there. There are a couple that I will highlight. I don't remember seeing this one around before, but I could be wrong. I'm wrong a lot. Just ask my wife. People were freaking out about this, the Little Mermaid Bride set. Less about this part, but more about the dresses. So these were like $30.99, and they're a really high quality dress, like $129 brand new for retail. So people were kind of excited about that.
a lot of the guy stuff's the same stuff we've been seeing, but there are some things that are worth talking about. The one that's the most worth talking about is this one. My new jacket. Yeah, 100% came home with me. Retro Star Wars, but look what happens when you flip it over. Look at the back. It's the silhouettes of the characters. That's so perfect. I bought it. Wanted to say thank you for watching my videos. You guys have been fantastic. I know this video's up a little bit later than normal. Had a really busy day after going to the Outwoods today, so I didn't get my normal edit and post the video as quick as I do thing going. Apologize for that. But if you are enjoying my content, I'd ask that you consider subscribing, maybe hit the notification bell, maybe share it to somebody. Any of that stuff would help the good old dad out here. Good old dad, that sounds really old. Uh, if you don't want to do that, maybe you could consider kayaking down river rapids. I hear that's fun. Maybe do that. So that's it. Dad doesn't do outros. So that's really it.